hip. So I have a workout that kind of incorporates all of that. Um, I don't know if I hate to tell you this, but it's one of my favorite parts about back is that anytime you work, you want to stretch out your low back. Most of us who have chronic low back pain, anything like that, whether it's from sitting in a chair or working from home, whatever that is, we also tend to have really tight hamstrings and a weak core. So anytime I work back, I usually like to add in core and hamstrings as well. So just know that both will be in here too. So don't think I'm crazy when I whip out hamstrings or core instead of just back and hips. Um, we had a pretty good class today. Um, so we're going to start on our backs. So whenever you're ready, take your time laying on your back. Your knees can be bent, your weight can be stretched straight out, or soles of your feet together, knees falling open. If you have a block or a water bottle or a pillow or a book or something you want to use, just make sure you keep it kind of close to your mat. Otherwise, go ahead and lay down. And then we're going to place our right hand on our belly and our left hand on our heart. And just gently close your eyes. Take a deep breath in, feeling both your belly and your chest rise. And open mouth, exhale, let it go. Take a deep breath in, feeling those hands rise. Open mouth, exhale, just release your day. Big, deep breath in. Last, open mouth, exhale, release. Take another deep breath in and hold at the height of your inhale. And as you exhale, slowly control all the air out your nose. With every inhale, begin to breathe a little bit deeper into your belly. And with every exhale, slowly let go of all of your air. Just beginning to make every breath a little longer, a little slower, a little deeper. Begin to smooth out your breath, getting rid of any hiccups or pauses. And then begin to breathe fully into your body. So with every inhale, your ribs are going to spread wide apart. With every inhale, the air is going to go all the way to your pelvic floor and all the way up through the crown of your head, creating space between each vertebrae. Then begin to constrict the back of your throat from jai breathing. This should make an ocean-like sound loud enough for you to hear and maybe even your neighbor. This is the breath of yoga. This is the breath that'll begin to warm you from the inside out. This is the breath that'll get you through the pocket. And if you do nothing else today besides breathe, then you are doing yoga perfectly. And as we set our intention for practice today, I invite you just to spend this next hour of time to yourself, to be in your body on your map, and let the rest of the world start to fade away, to meet yourself where you are without judgment, without negativity, and just spend this next hour to connect, to breathe, to stay with your breath. So maybe you set your intention as be present. Maybe you set your intention as breathe. Maybe you set it as connect. Whatever it is, create a one or two word mantra. And repeat that a few times to yourself. When you're ready, gently draw your knees into your chest and give yourself a nice big seat. Maybe rocking from side to side if it's comfortable for you. Gently come back to center and plant your feet down on the mat about hip width distance apart. That is about two fifths apart, so don't make them any wider. And walk your heels nice and close to your sit bones. Arms are going to come down by your side, pull navel spine, and as you inhale, gently lift those hips up off the mat. And as you exhale, slowly lower down one vertebrae at a time. 
Inhale, lift your hips up off the mat, not worrying about how high you're coming. Exhale, slowly lower. One more time like this. Inhale, gently lift those hips. Exhale as you slowly lower. From here, we're gonna in, we're gonna heel toe our feet about two heel toes further apart. Once again, you're still gonna press down through your heels, and then as you inhale, gently lift those hips up off the mat. Exhale, slowly lower back down. Inhale as you lift. Exhale as you lower. Last time, inhale, lift those hips. Exhale, slowly lower. Once again, we're going to heel toe our feet even further apart. Bring the mat with distance apart and turn your toes out to two and ten. Whole navel to spine and inhale as you gently lift those hips up. And exhale with control, slowly lower. Inhale as you lift. Exhale as you lower. Last time, inhale, lift those hips up. Exhale, slowly lower. Once you're ready, draw your knees into your chest and give yourself that nice big sweep. And then begin to rock forward and backward. Taking about four or five rocks to make your way up to seated. If that doesn't feel good for you today, make your way up to seated however it does. And once you are in seated, you're going to bend your knees, plant your feet down on the mat, and bring your hands behind your knees. As you inhale, lift through that chest, roll your shoulders down your back, full navel to spine. And from here, we're just going to walk our toes closer toward us so we find the sweet spot between your sit bones and your tailbone. You know you're too far on your tailbone if that back starts to round, so walk yourself back up. Keep pulling navel to spine, keep lifting through your chest. And you can keep your toes touching or maybe lift them up off the mat. If you're feeling really strong, maybe you want to straighten them. But the second you come back into that, do you lower those feet back down. Keep pulling navel to spine and maybe reach your arms out to the side. Keep lifting through that chest, keep breathing, let that core start to engage here. Breathe. You can stay here in any variation of boat that you are in. Or, as you inhale, you can slowly lower, letting your heels and shoulders be lifted up off the mat. Exhale, lift up. Inhale as you lower. Exhale, lift. Last time, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, hold, lift back through that chest, create length through your collarbone. One more inhale. Exhale, slowly make your way into the seat. It however feels good for you. When you're ready, inhale, reach those arms up overhead. Exhale, your right fingertips down to the mat as you reach that left arm overhead, stretching through your side body. Here, keep rolling that left shoulder open, keep lengthening through your collarbone. Breathe. Inhale, come back up to the center. Exhale, switch side. Once again, keep rolling on top, shoulder open, lengthen through that collarbone. Breathe. And here, as you exhale, you're going to bend your arm, bringing that top arm into cactus, and open through your chest a little bit more, leaning backwards. As you exhale, bring both hands down to the mat. Slide them around in front of you until you come to the opposite side. And inhale, open up through that chest on the opposite side. Exhale, slowly bring your hands down and around. And inhale, come back up. Exhale. Inhale. And just continue to do this at your own pace linking your breath to your movement. If moving slower is for you and you want to take a few breaths, feel free to do that. If holding to the side feels good, do that. Just do whatever you need today.
two more full breath cycles. And maybe back and center. Whenever you're done, just bring your hands to heart center, taking your time. And we're going to gently make our way into tabletop. Hands and knees resting on your mat. Inhale, gently drop your stomach, lift your gaze. Exhale, curl your spine, gazing towards your belly button. Inhale, drop your stomach, lift your gaze. Exhale, curl your spine. Inhale, exhale, and once again, you can do this at your own pace. Making your breath your And then taking any other movements that feel natural, that feel good. So maybe that's twisting at your hips. Maybe it's hinging forward and backwards. Just whatever you need this evening, begin to invite that body to start to open up, to start to move. Two more full breath cycles, and maybe back at that neutral table top. And when you're ready, curl your toes under and push back down the dog. Lifting those hips up and sending them to the back. Just take a moment or two here to bend one to another. Just inviting that back body to start to move. Up, to start to move. When you're ready to find some stillness in your down dog, find that stillness. Your fingers are spread wide apart. You're pushing down through the base of your index finger and thumb. Shoulder blades slide down your back, full navel to spine until your sit bones up to the ceiling. Even if that means bending your knees. Breathe. And just take a moment here in your first down dog to notice how it feels. Without judgment or without a story, you just simply notice. Then inhale, make your way up to your very tippy toes, stretching to the bottoms of your feet. Exhale, bend your knees, let them hover an inch or two off your mat. Inhale, push forward to plank, top of a push up toe. Exhale, push back, down dog. Inhale, lift up to your very tippy toes. Exhale, bend your knees. Inhale, push forward to plank. Exhale, push back, down and up. Last time, inhale up to your very tippy toe. Exhale, bend your knee. Inhale, plank. Exhale, push back, down and up. Inhale, this time look forward in between your hands. And exhale, step or walk. Inhale, halfway lift. Create a nice flat back. You're really keeping our shoulder blades together. Full navel to spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms reach. Come all the way up to the hands. Exhale, package your arms. Take the back bend up to the top of the knee. Go collarbone. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, create that nice flat back. Exhale, plant your hands and step your right foot way behind you. And here I want you to take a moment to play into your hips. So maybe a little up and down, maybe a little side to side, maybe a little forward and backward. Just whatever you think or you think your bike will start to start. Then right hand comes down to the inside of your left foot, maybe on the mat, maybe on the top. Full navel spine and inhale that left arm high to open through that chest and take the twist with. Full navel spine here to make room through the twist 
and reach up to that bottom hand just like you're pushing down. Reach up to your top hand like you're pushing down to your bottom. Three. Take an inhale. Exhale that left hand down to the mat and step back to plank, top of a push up pose. And we're going to hold here. So push down to your hands, lift to your shoulders. Full navel to spine, engage your legs. Gaze a few inches in front of your fingers. Breathe. Let your body start to warm up. Let the muscles start to get engaged. Feel yourself getting stronger. Then inhale, hinge slightly forward, shoulders in front of fingers. And exhale, slowly lower down to your mat, chest and hips touch at the same time. So here we're going to take a moment to set this up. Tops of your feet come to the mat and push down through the tops of your feet. So much so that your kneecaps lift up off the mat. Pull me able to spine and then roll those shoulders down and back like you're pinning them together. Squeeze your elbows to your side. Then on your inhale, without putting weight through your hands, you're going to inhale and gently lift that chest for cobra. All the work should be coming from your upper back. Breathe. Take another inhale. Exhale your forehead down to the mat. Find that engagement again of your lower body. Then inhale, once again, gently lift that chest, squeezing those elbows together. Let your shoulders fall away from your ears. Exhale, forehead to mat. One more time, inhale, gently lift that chest, use your core. Exhale, curl your toes under, push back, down, down. Inhale, your right leg high. Exhale, step that foot forward in between your hands, pushing it forward with your hands if you need to. Then once again, take a moment here. Play and slow down. Maybe that little up and down. Maybe that little side to side. Maybe a little forward and backward. Whatever you need on this side. Then when you're ready, Left hand to the inside of your right foot. Inhale that right arm high as you come into a twist. Once again, full navel spine to make room for this twist and lift up through that top hand just like you're pushing down to your bottom hand. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale that right hand down to the mat and step your left foot forward to meet your right. Inhale, halfway lift, create that nice flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms reach as you come all the way up to standing. Interlacing those fingers, all the space up. Then exhale, lean to the right, stretch through that full side body. Inhale, back. Exhale to the left. Inhale, back. Exhale, cactus those arms. Take your back bend. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands and step your left foot way behind you. Once again, here we're going to place our left hand to the inside of your right foot. And inhale that right arm high, coming in flat foot. Three. Take an inhale here. Then as you exhale, sink deeper into your hips. Let that back knee start to bend. As you bring that right arm to the back of the room, let your gaze follow your right hand. Then as you inhale, you're going to lift up and out of your hips as you reach that right arm for the front of the room. Exhale, sink deeper into your hips, pointing to the back of the room. Inhale, lift up and overhead. One more time. Exhale, sink deeper. Inhale, reach up and overhead. Exhale, your right hand down to the mat. And step your right foot back into plank. Breathe. Hold your plank one more time. Push it down through your hands, lift through your shoulders. Whole navel to spine, engage your lips. Gaze a few inches in front of your fingers. Breathe. This time, maybe try smiling, see if it helps. Then inhale, hinge slightly forward. 
and exhale slowly lower down to your mat letting your knees rest for just a few minutes you. tops of your feet to the mat and once again inhale gently lift that chest for cobra engage your legs pin those shoulder blades together pull the to the spine breathe take an inhale here and as you exhale turn look over your right shoulder Inhale, center. Exhale, turn and look over your left shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, curl your toes under. Push back, down, down. Inhale, your left leg high. Exhale, step that foot forward in between your hands. Right hand to the inside of your left foot. Inhale, that left arm high, coming into your twist. Take another inhale here. Then as you exhale, sink into your hips, bend through that back knee and point to the back of the room. Let your gaze follow. Inhale, lift up and out of your hips as you reach overhead. Exhale, sink into your hips, point to the back of the room. Inhale, reach up and overhead. Last time, exhale, sink into those hips. Inhale, reach up and overhead. Exhale, both hands down to the mat and step your right foot forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms reach as you come all the way up to standing. This time, exhale your right arm back, left arm forward as you come into your twist. Keep pointing that right hip to the front of the room. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, left arm back, right arm forward. Keep drawing that left hip to the front of the room. Inhale, center. Exhale, cactus your arms. Take that back bend, really open through the, those collarbones. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back to plank and slowly lower elbows, touch your back. Inhale, either gently lift your chest for cobra or begin to straighten your arms for up dog. Either way, open through your chest. Exhale, curl your toes under, push back, down, down. And take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, release. At any point in time, you can skip down dog and rest in child pose if that's what's calling you today. And anything we do from down dog, you can do from tabletop. So take what your body needs today to stay with your breath. When you're ready, inhale your right leg high. Exhale your knee toward your nose as you come forward into that plank. Remember, you can do this from tabletop. Inhale your right leg high. Exhale knee to right elbow coming forward again. Inhale that leg high. Exhale knee to left elbow really twisting it underneath you. Inhale your right leg high. Exhale step your foot forward in between your hands. And one last time we're going to place our left hand to the inside of our right foot. And inhale that right arm high. So here I really want you to pull navel to spine. I want you to push down through your front heel and find a drift via focal point on the side wall, something that's not going to move. Pull navel to spine. And as you inhale, draw your right arm to the back of the room, left arm to the front as you come up and into that twist. So here your back knee is an option. Feel free to take it if you need it. Otherwise, engage that back leg. Pull navel to spine, reach through your arm, relax through your shoulder. Breathe. And then as you inhale, you can either stay here, or as you inhale, slowly begin to straighten through that front leg. Exhale, take a bend in your front knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. One more time, inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. 
stay here. You can stay here. Maybe you come into humble speed. Come into exalted warrior. Right hand to the back of your left side. Reach that left arm overhead. Three. And imagine that somebody is lifting you up by your heart here. Three. Take an inhale. And an exhale. Inhale, come back to that twist. Exhale, set your left hand down on the mat. Reach up through that top one. And then really start to ground down through that left hand. Full navel to spine. And without thinking too much about this next part, you're going to step your right foot back, coming into side plank. So inside plank, bottom knee can rest, one foot in front of the other, or feet stacked, your choice. But you're lifting up, up through that top hand, up through your hip three. One more inhale. Exhale your right hand down to the mat. Inhale, hinge slightly forward. And exhale, either lower and go through that flow, or exhale and push back down dog. Giving that flow off the edge. Your choice. Your practice. Take a deep breath in. Oh, and now exhale, release. Inhale your left leg high. Exhale your knee to your nose. Remember, you can do this from table time. Inhale your left leg high. Exhale knee to left elbow. Inhale your leg high. Exhale knee to right elbow. Inhale your leg high. Exhale step your foot forward in between your hands. Right hand to the inside of your left foot. Inhale that left arm high. Breathe. Whew. I don't know about you, but I am sweating. When you're ready, find that drift, see that focal point. Pull navel spine, push down to your front heel. And inhale, slowly bring that left arm back, right arm forward. Coming in flat twist. Your back knee is still an option. Take it if you need it. Otherwise, pull navel to spine. Reach to your arms, relax to your shoulders. Breathe. Once again. You can stay here if this is enough for you today, and that is awesome. If you'd like a little bit of balance, inhale, slowly begin to straighten through that front leg. Exhale, take a bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. One more time, inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Hold here. Stay just like this. Or exalted warrior, left hand to the back of your right thigh as you reach that right arm overhead. Lift up through that heart, breathe. One more full round of breath. Inhale, come back to that. Exhale, your right hand down to the mat. I know it's a lot of core, reach that left arm high. Ground down through that left hand. Excuse me, ground down through your right hand. Bring your gaze down for that right hand, pull navel to the side, and without thinking about it, step that left foot back, side plank. Once again, bottom knee can rest, one foot in front of the other, or feet stacked, your twist, but you're reaching up. Up to that top hand, up to your hip, breathe. One more inhale. Exhale that left hand down to the mat. Inhale, hinge slightly forward. Exhale, either lower and go through that flush or push back down and on. Take a deep breath in. Oh, thin mouth. Exhale, release. Inhale that right leg high. Exhale, knee to the Inhale your right leg high. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, your leg high. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, your leg high. Exhale, tuck your foot forward in between your hands. Then inhale, arms reach. High lunge. 
three. So here, drop down to your back knee at any point in time. It is always there for you. If you're staying up in high lunge though, your back heels lift in the bottom of the mat and your back leg is strong and engaged. Tailbone grows long, full able to find reach through those arms and let your shoulders slide down your back. Three. And from here, we're going to interlace our third, fourth, and fifth fingers. Keep your index finger pointed. Inhale, elongate through the crown of your head and relax through your shoulders. And as you exhale, you're going to hinge at your hips as you point to the front of the room. Try not to let your belly rest on your back. Inhale, come back up to center. Maybe into a back bend, just lifting through heart center. Exhale, hinge at your hips, point to the front of the room. Inhale, come back to center, maybe in that back bend. One more, inhale, hinge forward, hold here. Whole navel to spine, breathe. Then stay here, or maybe you shift your weight into your right leg as you lift that left leg up off the mat for warrior three. Flex through your back foot. Fall over, left, come back in. Take an inhale. Exhale, take a bend in your right knee. Step your left foot way behind you. Inhale, open up, warrior two. In warrior two, your back foot, is, your back heel's resting on your mat. Your back foot's parallel to that back edge. Push it down to the upper edge of that back foot. Engage your back foot. Hips face the side wall. Draw your front knee out to the wall behind you. Tailbone grows long, full and able to find reach through your arms. Relax through your shoulders. Gaze over your front fingertips. Breathe. Take a moment here in this strength building pose to come back to your breath. To find those long, slow, deep, and even breaths. Then as you inhale, drop your back arm down your back leg as you reach overhead for reverse warrior. Keep that bend in your front knee and think more about reaching up rather than reaching back. Create space in your spine. Take an inhale. Exhale, we're going to cartwheel our hands around, bring our right forearm to our right side as you reach that left arm high. So here we're not sinking into our right shoulder, we're lifting up and out of it. Full navel to spine. And you can stay here, or if you can keep your chest and hips open, maybe walk that right hand onto the block or onto the mat. I'm going to tell you we're about to do Dancing Warrior Series, and that it becomes really hard if your hand is on the floor. But if you're up for the core challenge, by all means, keep your hand on the floor. But I highly recommend forearm to thigh. So full navel to spine. From here on out, our lower body is not going to move. So create a nice, strong lower body. Then as you inhale, come all the way back and through to reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, side angle. One more time. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Last time, exhale, side angle. Pull me able to spine here. Then inhale, star, straighten both arms and both legs. And as you exhale, turn your toes up to two and ten as you sink into goddess, taking the bending knee. And here you really want to draw your knees out wide so they're going over your toes. We're not sticking that booty out, it's not a squat, so tuck that booty back in. You want your chest, you want your shoulders over your chest, over your hips. So knit those little ribs in. Elbows up to shoulder height. Don't worry, we won't stay here long with our arms up anyway. When you're ready, hands are going to come to your inner thighs as you push those thighs out just a little bit from there. Try not to sink into your shoulders here. Try and lift up and out of it. Take an inhale. Then as you exhale, drop your right shoulder down in the middle and turn as much over that left shoulder. Breathe. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale that left shoulder down, turn and look over your right shoulder, breathe. Keep sinking in, both hips. Inhale, come back to center, bring those arms up. Stay for one more exhale. Inhale, straighten both arms, both legs, star. Exhale, hands at your hips as you fold, nice wide legged forward, fold. 
And just take a moment here to come back to your breath. Start to relax. Shift your weight into the balls of your feet as you tilt your foot bones up to the ceiling and let that head and neck hang heavy. Breathe. Maybe here you want to nod your head yes and no. Inhale, halfway lift, create that nice flat back, full navel to find. Then exhale, spider crawl your hands back to the front of your mat. Step back to plank. And either lower and go through that flow, or exhale and push back down dog or child pose of your choice. Breathe. One more side, and then I promise it's stretchy good stuff from here on out. Inhale your left leg high. Exhale your knee to your nose. Inhale your left leg high. Exhale knee to left elbow. Inhale your leg high. Exhale knee to right elbow. Inhale your leg high. Exhale step your foot forward in between your hands. And inhale, arms reach, high lunge. So you know where we're going on this side, whether that's a good or a bad thing, you can decide, but you do know so set up this pose however you need to. Your back knee is still an option, take it if you need it. Your back heel is lifted if you're not resting on your back knee, and your back leg is strong and engaged. Tailbone goes long, pull me able to spine, reach through those arms, relax through your shoulders. Breathe. Then interlace your third, fourth, and fifth finger again, index finger pointed, breathe. Relax to your shoulder. Take an inhale here. Then as you exhale, hinge at your hips as you point to the front of the room. Try not to let your belly rest. Inhale, come back up to center. Maybe taking that back bend, lifting the heart back. Exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, come back up. Maybe step back bend. Last time, exhale as you hinge forward. Hold here, breathe. Pull and able to spine. Maybe you stay here and that's great. Maybe you begin to shift your weight into your left foot as you reach that right foot up off the mat. Warrior three, breathe. Fall over, relax, come back in. Keep breathing. One more inhale. Exhale, take a bend in your left knee. Step your right foot way behind you. Inhale, open up, warrior two. Once again, your back foot's resting on your mat. You're pushing down through the outer edge of that back foot. Let your back leg come strong and engage. Hips face the sidewall. Draw your front knee out to the wall behind you. Tailbone grows long. Pull navel to spine. Reach through your arms. Relax through your shoulders. Gaze over your front fingertips. Breathe. Take a moment just to come back to your breath. Then inhale, reverse your warrior, dropping that back arm down your back leg. Once again, reaching up more than you're reaching back. And keep that bend in your front knee. Take an inhale. Exhale, cartwheel your hands around as you find that side angle. Left forearm to left side. We're still not sinking into that left shoulder. Lift up and out of it as you reach through that top arm. Keep your chest and hips open. And maybe bring that left hand down to the mat. You did this once already. You know whether you want to go there or not. Breathe. Once again, from here on out, that lower body is not going to move. So really pull and able to spine. And as you inhale, come up and through to reverse warrior. And inhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And inhale, side angle. Last time, inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, star, straighten both arms, both legs. Exhale, turn your toes out to two and ten as you come into goddess. And I'm going to turn around so I, you guys can see me. Once again, you're drawing those knees out. Tailbone long, full navel to spine, and bring your hands to those inner back. Try not to stick your booty out here. Keep tucking under and lift up and out of your shoulders. Three. And maybe you sink a little bit deeper. Take an inhale. Exhale that right shoulder down. Middle to knee. Over your left. 
three. Maybe think a little bit deeper. Inhale, center. Exhale, your left shoulder down. Maybe lift over that right shoulder. Breathe. Inhale, center. Bring those arms back up. Stay for one more inhale. One more exhale. Inhale, straighten through both arms, both legs, star. Exhale, hinge at your hips as you fold. Head and neck, tank, head. Breathe. Once again, maybe you nod that head and neck, yes. Maybe you want to find a little bit of side to side movement. Maybe you let your hands go and you draw a shape on the mat. On the mat. I promise we're stretching from here on out. Stop it. Inhale, halfway lift, create that nice flat back. Exhale, spider curl your hands back. Step back to plank and either lower and go through that foot. Exhale and push back down dog. Giving that flow while stepping. Your choice. Your practice. Take a deep breath in. Open out. Exhale. And then allow your knees to rest on the mat as you sit back on your heels. Not quite tight, but you're going to come up. If sitting back on your heels like this bothers you, you can either take a block or a blanket or a pillow and sit it under, onto your heels and give yourself that little bit of support. Or sit someplace, sit in a different way. It doesn't really matter. Just take a moment to sit. Then bring one hand on top of the other. So let your palms touch. Close your head. Breathe. Reconnect to your breath. Reconnect to that intention, whatever it was. Notice how your body is feeling without judgment. Take an inhale. Exhale your chin to your chest. Slowly flutter your eyes open as you inhale. Reach your arms all the way up. Curl your toes under here. And exhale your hands to the ball of your back. Inhale, roll those shoulders all the way up to your ears. Exhale, let them fall down to the back and notice that branching part way into the back bend. From here, full navel, shine if you'd like to keep in your back bend. You're going to let your hips come forward. Don't push your core, just let them come forward. And you're going to lift up and out of your heart, like squeeze, rolling it up. Breathe. Inhale, come back up. Keeping your toes curled under, exhale, sit back on your heels. And before you freak out, I know what this pose feels like. In fact, this pose is called broken toe pose. Trust me, I know. It will not break your toes. Once again, one hand on top of the other, like some touch and close your eyes again to find a way to come back to that breath. If you need to stay up a little bit higher here, do that. Three. Just take a moment to stretch the bottom of your feet. Exhale your chin to your chest. Slowly flutter your eyes open and inhale. Arms reach to come all the way back up to me. Exhale your hands to the small of your back. Inhale, roll those shoulders up and back to drop the back bend. Breathe. If at any point in time this becomes too much, just gently back up a little bit. There should be no pain. Breathe. And know that any time you're in a back bend is a very vulnerable pose. We leave the soft, squishy part of our body exposed and it's hard for us to just breathe. Inhale, come back up to back. Let the tops of your feet rest back down on the mat and exhale, sit back on your heel. Once again, one hand on top of the other, let your thumb touch the other. Breathe. Inhale, come back up. 
and inhale your chin to your chest. Slowly flutter your eyes open and inhale back time as you come all the way up, reaching those arms up next to them. Curl those toes back under. And if your hands are so small, if your back was enough for you today, do bring them back there. Roll those shoulders up and back and drop back. If you'd like to come into camel instead, you're going to take one hand back to your heel, followed by the other. Once again, let your hips come forward, lift your heart center, breathe. If this becomes too much for you at any point in time, walk your hands back up to the small of your back. Breathe. If your hands are on your heels, as you inhale, you're going to cartwheel your hands back up. Otherwise, inhale, come back up. Last time, keep those toes curled under as you sit back on your heels. One hand on top of the other, thumbs gently touching and close your eyes. Just breathe. Exhale your chin to your chest. Slowly flutter your eyes open. And gently walk your hands down on the mat. Untuck your toes, and maybe you want to have them down on the mat a few times to kind of shake them up. Then exhale, push back child pose. So if your knees are together in child pose, you're going to get deeper into your low back. If your knees are met with distance apart, you'll get deeper into your hips. So just do whichever you feel like you need today. If your forehead doesn't quite touch the mat, feel free to bring your hands underneath your forehead and just give yourself that support. And gently rock your forehead from side to side, releasing any tension you may have built up. Inhale, lift your forehead up off the mat. And exhale, walk your hands to the right as you once again hold, stretching through that side body. You were made for me. Inhale, lift that forehead back up. And exhale, walk your hands all the way to the left as you once again fold. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, walk your hands back to the front of the neck. And when you're ready, find down dog last time. And just take that moment here once again to notice your down dog. Notice how it feels different compared to the beginning of class. Notice without judgment, without a story. Take an inhale. One more exhale. Then inhale, lift forward in between your hands. And as you exhale, we're going to step our feet to the outside of our hands. We're going to come into yogi squat. So your feet will come to the outside of your hands. I suggest about that one distance apart. Turn your toes up to two and ten and sink nice and deep into your hips. So a couple of things before we go anywhere. If you need to stay up higher, just know that that is an option. If you have a block or a stack of books or a box and you'd like to sit on that instead, feel free to do so. You get the same stretch. If your heels are lifted, Chances are you need to walk your feet out or in a little bit. Just find what a good place is for you. Then draw your knees out. Elbows to your inner thighs, hands to the heart center, breathe. Relax those shoulders, lift your chest, and close your eyes. Just breathe. And yogi squat is one of those love-hate relationship poses. You either love this pose and you can eat dinner here, or you're counting down the imaginary seconds until it's over. I say imaginary because you don't know how long we're going to be here for. In case you're curious, I can eat dinner here. So it won't be a short time, I assure you. Three. You can stay right here. 
Or maybe you bring your right fingertips down toward the mat, keeping your elbow where it is. And inhale, lift that left arm high, opening through your chest. Exhale, your hands to heart center. Switch side, left fingertips come down, left elbow stays where it is, and inhale that right arm high. Exhale, your hands to heart center. One more inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Feel, toe your feet back together. And just gently make your way into a seated position, whatever that looks like for you. So here we're going to take a moment. Remember, if you have low back or hip pain, it's always be up on a block as well. I love sitting on a block personally. So we're going to take a moment here to stretch through our neck. The biggest thing about stretching through your neck is that I'm going to keep giving options to keep changing it up. However, I want you to stop where it's a good stretch for you. Don't push, don't force, especially in your neck. So take your time here. So when you're ready, what you're gonna do is you're gonna reach your right arm kind of out at an angle. So it's not gonna be right down by your side, it's not gonna be straight up, but find that medium ground. And let's roll that right shoulder open. Exhale your left ear toward your left shoulder. Breathe. And maybe this is enough for you and that's great. Stay here. If you'd like a little bit more, you're gonna take your left hand and place it on your head. Don't push, don't force, just let the weight of your hand deepen the stretch. Stay here. Or maybe slowly go through that full range of motion. So slowly begin to chuck that chin. And slowly begin to lift it up. If while you're moving you find a sweet spot that you'd like to hold, feel free to do that. And then as we come out, listen very carefully to how you come out. First, you're going to let your right hand rest back down. Then with the help of your left hand, bring your head back up to center. Time to switch back. So we're going to reach that left arm up. And begin to roll that left shoulder open. And then let your right ear fall toward your right shoulder. Take a moment here. Knowing that each side's going to feel a little bit different, and that's okay. So just take it this side as far as it can go. Once again, stay here or take that right hand and place it on your head without pushing or forcing. Just let the weight of your hand be the stretch. Keep breathing. Then stay here. Or once again, gently begin to nod and lift that chin. Once again, if you find a sweet spot on this side, please feel free to take it and hold it. Breathe. Once again, when you're ready, left hand's going to rest back down. And you're going to bring your head back up to center with the help of that right hand. If you're sitting on a block, go ahead and gently remove it and stretch both legs straight up in front of you. Take your hands and actually move that flexing love away from your sit bones. Flex your feet and inhale, reach those arms up nice and high. Exhale, hinge at your hips as you fold, grabbing whatever you can, tap ankles or toes. Knowing that nothing magic happens if you touch your toes. Breathe. Inhale, lift halfway back up. Exhale, hinge and fold a little bit deeper. You can do that one or two more times if you'd like, or you can just hold the stretch to your choice. Inhale, come back up to center. 
And gently find your way onto your back, however feels good for you. Shavasana is close, so if you'd like a blanket or a pillow or something like that, Shavasana, feel free to grab it. Let's go ahead and gently lay down on the back. Once you land to dry your knees into your chest and give yourself that nice sweep. Maybe rocking from side to side if it's comfortable for you. Just massaging your back, releasing your kidneys. And reach your arms out to the side for airplane weight. Let your toes touch down on the mat as you scoot your hips an inch or two to the left and let your knees fall to the right. Make any adjustments here so both shoulder blades are resting on your mat. And maybe bring your gaze to your opposite hand. Closing your eyes if it's comfortable for you. Just breathe. Inhale, come back to center. And scoot your hips an inch or two to the right as you let your knees fall to the left. Make any adjustments so both shoulder blades are resting on your mat. Maybe bringing your gaze to your opposite hand. Closing your eyes if it's comfortable for you. Inhale, come back to center. Draw your knees back into your chest to realign your spine. And give yourself one last final big squeeze here. Then gently stretch your legs out onto the mat. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead as you reach fingers and toes to opposite ends of the room. Exhale, gently release. Allow your feet to fall wherever they lift. And bring your arms down by your sides, palms face up. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, release. Take another deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Final big deep breath in. Last open mouth, exhale, release. And allow your breath to return to its natural rhythm. Feel your muscles growing heavy as you sink deeper into your mat. Smooth out the wrinkles in your forehead and allow all the thoughts to escape your mind as you come back to your breath, as we rest in our final pose. Knowing that you can stay here as long as you'd like, take a few minutes just to breathe. Thank you for joining me this evening. Namaste.